And we begin tonight with an important update for parents and families. Governor Cuomo says that come Monday, New York plans to relax the masking mandate in schools. That will happen so long as the CDC does not advise the state otherwise. So what does this mean for your child? Two on your side's Jackie Roberts spoke with local superintendents tonight. This is the letter State Health Commissioner Dr. Howard Zucker sent to the director of the CDC. It outlines how New York State plans to modify its school and camp mask guidance. For people who are not fully vaccinated, Indoors, masks will be strongly encouraged, but not required. Outdoors, masks are not required. But people who aren't fully vaccinated are encouraged to wear them in certain high-risk circumstances. And both indoors and outdoors, people who are fully vaccinated do not need to wear masks. However, schools and camps may choose to implement stricter standards. Dr. Zucker ended the letter saying in part, if there is any data or science that you are aware of that contradicts moving forward with this approach, please let me know as soon as possible. And as we wait for Monday, local superintendents stress that we still need further clarification. We've seen these types of announcements before. Um, and then we get the guidance document afterwards, and there's some uh, nuance in there that maybe we didn't anticipate. And even once districts receive the guidance, changes likely won't happen overnight. We'll wait for the guidance. We'll confer with the Niagara County Health Director. We'll speak to our fellow superintendents. We'll speak to our boards of education, and then we will give direction to our students, staff, parents, and community in the most expeditious way possible. Everybody needs to remember that we operate under the current guidance until we get updated guidance. There's only one thing that replaces guidance and that's new guidance. So we'll wait and see what that guidance says. We'll discuss it as a group. School districts will discuss it internally and every school district will have to make the decision that best fits the needs of their particular school district. The president of New York State United Teachers called the governor's announcement whiplash inducing news, adding, quote, short of any additional guidance from the state or the CDC before Monday, we implore school districts to closely evaluate local conditions and connect with their educators and parents to decide the best course of action for protecting their school community. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.